Hey, what's up? I'm Sully Erna from Godsmack, and you are watching Loudwire. Hey, everybody. Grohamid here for Loudwire, and it's Wikipedia Fact or Fiction time again. Today, we've got Sully Erna from Godsmack here. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, I really appreciate My you pleasure. stopping by. Uh, full birth name, Salvatore Paul Erna. Fact. Fact. All right, good so far. It's a hell of a name. Uh, it says that's also uh, the name of your father, Salvatore Erna. Correct. Correct, yes. And um, he, his middle name is not Paul. He has like 17 middle names <laughs> um, because when you're born in Sicily, that's how it is. Every uncle and aunt has some kind of, you know, something to do with your name when a baby's born. Uh, it said that your father was a trumpet player and would rehearse in the basement. And as a young kid, you would watch him play and sometimes fall asleep in an empty guitar case. That's right. That's right, yeah. He's still a trumpet player. He actually owns the, um, the Northeast Italian band, which is the, the marching band that goes throughout the streets of Boston and New England in general and does all the Italian feasts when they bring in the oh, saints wow. and you pin money up on them and all that. My dad's the actual band. Uh, you know, he's the conductor and the owner now. He doesn't quite play as much as he used to, um, but yeah, he's been a musician his whole life, and, and that's exactly how it started for me. I became a drummer because I used to go down to the basement and watch his band play and um, was infatuated with the drums, but I would kind of get in one of the acoustic guitar cases and chill there <laughs> and fall asleep. So It says that you began playing drums at the age of three. Three and a half. Three, wow. I started playing pots and pans when I was three. Sure. Six months later, when they knew it wasn't a phase I was going through <laughs> and I was driving everybody crazy in the house, they actually convinced a teacher to take me at three and a half. And so it was, wow. I was young, yeah. Uh, further back in your family's history, uh, your great grandfather was a famous composer in Sicily where every year they honor his birthday and his pictures are hung in a museum. Kind of fiction. Okay. It's fact, but it's fiction. Uh, the fact is that my great uncle was a famous composer in Sicily. Great uncle. Um, okay. Yep. He was my grandfather's brother on my dad's side. Um, they do have his picture in this, in this place where every year they honor um, his music. They have a day where they honor his music and the bands play his music in the streets. They have like a feast and food and that kind of thing. Uh, it's not on his birthday. Um, okay. It's just a, a day I think they have. It's a very little town in Sicily called Melilli. And um, in this small little town, he was just a very famous person. It says, you signed your first record deal in 1993 with a band called Strip Mind, uh, but you didn't get along with the band members and were subsequently kicked out. Okay, yeah, this fact and fiction and that. Um, fact is, I signed my first deal in 93 with a band called Strip Mind. We were like a punk metal band. I did get along with most of the members. Me and the singer had the biggest problem. Um, he was just kind of a really spoiled rich kid and we were all from the streets and just kind of scrambling for oodles and noodles and you know, and just trying to make our way and grab a couple bucks here and there. And he kind of had a you know American Express gold card from his dad and things like that. So there was just a lot of that snootiness that didn't really fly with us. But I was the only one who would really speak up and was kind of blunt about the whole thing. And so, um, of course, it created a lot of tension with me and him. Yeah, eventually I was thrown out of the band because I was the problem. Um, mm -hmm. And soon after I was let go, the other two quit anyways when they realized that I wasn't the problem. In February 1995, uh, you decided to start a new band as the lead singer after playing drums for more than 23 years. That's right. That's right. The name of the band's Godsmack. And here we are today. Yeah. Done pretty well. Actually, for we were called the Scam at first, though we weren't even the Godsmack. Scam. Yeah. How did that change? Is there? Well, the Scam uh, was something we came up with because we used to just kind of scam our way into playing gigs because nobody would take us yet. They didn't know who we were, and so um, I think there was even some times when me and TC hung outside the club before the opening band would show up, <clears throat> and he would pretend he was from the club and be like, "You guys are late. Beat it!" and throw him <laughs> out. And then the guy would come out. Where's the opening band? And we'd go, "Hey, we're we." Oh we're, wow. We can set up and play. We're a band. <laughs> oh, that's. Brilliant. So, but then, you know, after a while, we started thinking we need a better name because at that time, the anything was kind of old school, and mm -hmm. we wanted to change it and come up with something a little bit more punchy. And uh, and Godsmack came around. Wow. Uh, you've cited Allison Chains' Lane Staley as your primary influence as a vocalist. Uh, not true. Um, although I, I admire the guy a lot. Um, I thought he was a brilliant singer and, and definitely was one of my influences. 
Um, I think if I had to uh, target more of a vocalist that that I probably uh, resemble more, it would probably have to be more like a James Hetfield. Sure. I would think it's a bit more growly and uh, you know a bigger voice than that, but. But for sure, Lane was definitely an influence of mine, as was you know Scott Weiland, Steven Tyler, James Hetfield. There's, you know, there's been a lot of singers along the way that I've kind of looked at as great vocalists and great frontmen. You know, Jonathan Davis from Corn, I thought he was an amazing frontman. Um, and throughout the years, you know, being a younger singer, I was just kind of molding and shaping myself to try to figure out who I was on stage and what I was. Try to you know grab a little bit of this and a little bit of that and and create something of my own. 